Hi, Mark. Thank you very much for uh, allowing me to interview you. So um, you, you work in a um, uh, building called the Electra, is that correct? Yeah, Electra building, downtown Vancouver, Burrard and Nelson. Um, but when we first started Electra Health, we purchased the real estate. So that's used to actually be called Electra Health floor because that's all we had was that floor. But then as we grew, I had to change the name. So now we're Electra Health and we have that floor. And then we have, well, over the building, 28 different uh, treatment rooms. Uh, we do registered massage therapy, physiotherapy, acupuncture, chiropractic, uh, naturopathy, psychiatry, counseling, active rehab. And when did you start this? Uh, originally in this building, I've been here since 2001. So about 21 years. Just prior to that, I had had a multidisciplinary clinic in uh, Capitol Hill in the Burnaby area. Uh, and I ended up closing that clinic down uh, because ultimately it just wasn't producing the results I wanted it to. And I just moved downtown and we started in a 160 square foot small office. Did you have a lot of people investing in you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the rent <laughs> was only uh, 500 bucks a month. And uh, we did a few things that uh, people weren't doing. So back then, clinics weren't open eight to eight. And, and we actually operate 14 hours a day, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, but we advertised eight to eight because that's easier for people to remember. And then back then, too, we went online. You know, back then, no one was online. Were you planning on owning your own floor, Electra Health, and having 75 doctors working for you? No, but I was definitely planning on something. Yeah, I, I didn't know where it was going to go, but I, I knew I was going to create a, uh, a much bigger experience. What made you think that you were going to succeed? Because hey, I never give up. I'm always learning. I'm always growing. Never give up. I don't care what goes wrong. It's, it's not, I can solve anything. Uh, it may take me more time, there's no doubt. Uh, but I will definitely... Uh, create a solution. My solution now is my company and all the great people I've brought around me and I'm pretty happy about that outcome. There is one part of your life that you haven't been able to solve. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So when I was nine, I was diagnosed with a rare eye condition. But right now I have 1% of my vision left, so I'm basically blind. But yeah, I haven't solved for that. But I'm working on it and I keep my, uh, my eyes open, my ears open. My mom's still alive and I just love her dearly because she said, you know what? You're not going to give up on the dreams and I'll never give up. And with uh, your success, uh, you also have a few charity involvements. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Canadian Blind Hockey is the president of that association. It doesn't matter if you're blind, you're paralyzed, you've got emotional disorders, anxiety, depression, whatever you've got. I mean, there's so much. Like, don't worry about what you have. Realize what that is going to create. And that's what we do with Canadian Blind Hockey is we create an absolute vision for parents and kids to believe in, to hold on to, to grow with. And we're growing around the world. We've uh, grown it into the States. There's now 14 teams in the States. And we've grown it into England and Finland and Russia. And uh, our dream is to get into the Paralympics. Uh, do you reserve your success story to only inspire blind people? No, I mean, again, I don't care what you have. I mean, that's what's important. Don't get caught up in the problem. You know, spend a few minutes on the problem, of course. <laughs> but I'm spending most of my time on the solution. And now uh, you're doing coaching as well? Yeah, so part of what I do is I coach five people at a time. I can help those people because I've been down the path. Like financial success or building a business, it's really not as hard as you think. There are certain things you need to do, and when you master them, you just keep repeating them. What's challenging and the hardest is fulfillment. For people to be fulfilled in life, and it's not money. Fulfillment comes from helping other people. Fulfillment comes from waking up in the morning and knowing you're making a difference in this world. I have one last question uh, for you. Um, what do you think people can learn from the life of Mark Benz? Uh, don't give up on your dreams. You know, just, just don't. But whatever you have, whatever you want to accomplish, whatever it is in, in your heart, whatever that is, and you might go, God, you know what? Am I ever going to get there? You will. Absolutely. 